What's the biggest job you've ever done? Uh, the biggest job we've ever done was for the Montreal Canadiens restaurant. So when they were redoing the restaurant, they hired us to make all the kind of point of sale and hostess stands, as well as all the bar rails and bar tops. And then we built some other kind of smaller storage furniture pieces. And it was a big job. It was way bigger than what our shop could handle at the time. So we had to expand it by about 2000 square feet and then reset up our whole shop, you know, work on it, build it. And then we had to deliver it all before the season started. So the timeline was super critical and we couldn't really miss that deadline because we probably went to got paid. And what was the budget for that job? Uh, that was a quarter million dollar job. So that was the biggest job we've done to date. What is your biggest pet peeve in the workplace? Oh, definitely facial hair. Just kidding. My, my biggest pet peeve is when people are late. I don't like when people disrespect my time and you know, I plan my day out to fit them in and then they throw that whole thing off. It just, yeah, it really bothers me. Um, I could be, I'm lenient with, you know, employees or people that I have a track record with if they're on time every day and then one day they're late because of traffic or weather, you know, that's understandable. But if it's like our first time having a meeting and you're late, it doesn't look good. What is one business decision that you made that you would never do again or could change? Uh, back in the day when we first started doing tables, uh, we would let tables leave the shop before final payment was made. And that led to a few times where, well, many times where I was, you know, chasing people for money after the project that had already been delivered. And it just led to a lot of wasted time. So now we don't let anything leave the shop unless it's paid in full. So have you had any big losses from trying to chase people down and not getting a hold of them? Uh, we did a big job and we were owed 140,000 when the job left the shop. I'm not going to drop any names cause I don't think that's right. But, uh, yeah, they owed me 140,000 over the course of a year. And after a year, I finally got paid for it, but it was just a huge waste of time trying to call them, email them, text them, trying to collect this money. It was just, you're better off just collecting the money up front and nothing leaves the building until it's paid for. What kind of projects have you done for the celebrities? Uh, we've worked with a handful of notable names. Uh, most recently, we did a table for Danica Patrick. So we did a table for her winery in Napa Valley. And we built that table using a couple of black Tupelo slabs and the, the river or the, the epoxy in it was uh, wine colored and silver, which is the colors of the winery's logo. Um, Danica Patrick, she was, uh, she was super easy to deal with, very nice and just a genuine down to earth person. A few years ago, back in 2020, we did three tables, three river tables for Mike, the situation from Jersey Shore and his wife, Lauren. Uh, they were nice, clean. They were all black walnut, with black epoxy. So they were kind of classic looking. So how was it working with Mike's situation? Was it kind of the same persona that he gives off on the show? Uh, no, not entirely. He was like, honestly, him and his wife were the nicest two people I had ever met. They were super welcoming, easy to deal with. Uh, you know, but they, as soon as we walked into their house, they offered us coffee and like, you know, they were just very, very nice people. And, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect based on what you see on the show, but you know, a show is a, a show and, and him in real life is yeah one of the nicest people I've ever met. We've worked with a lot of big companies as well. So we've worked with Apple, Amazon, uh, the Montreal Canadiens. We, we worked with the Toronto Raptors, which was pretty cool because we built a walnut table that is in their locker room and they actually eat their pregame meal at a table that we built before they play. So it's, it's kind of cool knowing that. What was the best business advice that you were told or heard? Uh, early on in the business, I had a business partner who owned a minority stake and he had, he had built and sold a few other businesses before. So he was pretty credible, but he taught me to be resiliently resourceful. So, when problems would come up or we had to figure out certain things, I always, you know, tried doing things that you couldn't necessarily learn in a textbook or on YouTube. So trying things that are out of the box or, you know, different than what other people would do. And it normally led to kind of unique results that made us stand out or, or be a little more advanced than our competitors. And it really helped me, you know, build the business into what it is today. And it's, uh, yeah, it, it taught me a lot to just try different things and, and get out of my comfort zone.
Thanks for watching guys. If you've made it this far, you can now enter to win this coffee table. We built this coffee table using spalted maple, some blue epoxy and some black U-shaped legs. To enter, simply leave us a comment and make sure you subscribe to the channel.